Welcome everyone. The smoke has not settled when it comes to our country's vaping epidemic. But could new evidence shed light on what's causing this deadly crisis? Marijuana vapes are discreet and trendy, but could they be at the center of our country's vaping epidemic? The CDC cites new evidence linking a cutting agent called vitamin E acetate to a rash of vaping related deaths and illnesses. The cutting agent is reportedly being found in black market vape cartridges sold online and at illegal dispensaries. Vitamin E acetate cuts down the amount of THC oil used to fill vape cartridges, but this profit-inducing scheme is putting users in grave danger. In Utah, more than 90% of patients reported vaping THC before falling ill, and in New York, 125 cases have been linked to black market THC cartridges. Illinois and Wisconsin uncovered the same pattern. So how do you know if what you're inhaling is safe? Pediatric pulmonologist, Dr. Eric Hamburger, CannaSafe President Aaron Riley and cannabis expert Dr. Sherry Yafai all join us with more insight into this vaping illness crisis. And Dr. Hamburger, I want to start with you because when this all came about, we were seeing people with these severe pulmonary injuries. We were confused. We weren't sure what was going on. Uh, why is it the illicit THC vaping devices that seem to be the new culprit in this crisis? The agent that's been identified in um, every single one of the cases uh, is vitamin E acetate. So vitamin E acetate is uh, essentially a diluent, a cutting agent. It's been correlated with some major lung injury uh, in um, every single patient that's been identified through bronchial lavage fluids. What, what is it that this substance, vitamin E acetate, seems to do to the lungs that causes such severe damage and in some cases it's been causing death? The initial theory was it's a lipid soluble molecule. It was being gobbled up by the immune cells uh, within the lung and that was causing an immune reaction. Um, so this has actually been studied and what they found was um, that wasn't the case at all. So the theory now is that it's causing direct toxic damage to the air sacs at the end of the lung, the alveoli. Well, and Aaron, you actually took samples. You looked at some illegal THC vapes and the legal ones that are registered, if you will. What were your findings when you compared the two? Yeah, they were drastic. So we took over 100 compliant regulated samples that you would find in a licensed dispensary. We tested those for the regulatory compliance testing. They all passed. We tested those for vitamin E as well. None of those licensed samples contained vitamin E. On the contrary, we tested 12 illicit cartridges. Nine out of the 12 contained vitamin E and at significant levels, up to 40%. Um, every single one of those illicit cartridges contained pesticides. Some of them contained heavy metals. Literally 100% of the illicit market cartridges would have failed the compliance testing had they gone through the California system. What's interesting is that there are black market products, even in states where it's, it's legal. So, I mean, consumers have to be so vigilant no matter where they're consuming their, their THC. Absolutely, and I, and I see one of the highest risks that we see is some of these illicit market products are knockoffs of a licensed brand. You know, they take a licensed brand, they buy the same packaging, they buy the same hardware, and they use that to really deceive consumers where the licensed product's been tested, it contains what it says, the illicit product contains vitamin E, it has pesticides, it uses a cheaper variant of the hardware, so you know, there, there could be problems with heavy metal contamination in there as well. And so I know, Dr. Yafai, you're an expert on this, and even in states like California, where it's legal and you may go to a dispensary that's legal, there may be many aspects of the regulation that are fueling this black market, correct? There are illegal dispensaries too. That's exactly right. So here in California, we've seen a surge in the illegal market, and it's due to two main factors. One is cost, and two is penalties. So the cost, we now have a 30% taxation on legal market. And it's expensive, right? So cannabis uh, check products, you have to get them lab tested through places like Aaron's shop. You have to have them meet certain regulatory standards for the benefit of the consumer. And then part two is, is places that are illegal, the repercussions or the penalties are, are very little at this point because we've taken that and created a legal market, we're not penalizing people as hard or as harsh as we used to. As I sit here and think about this, we're getting close to a place where you're going to have to start charging people with murder. 